next, lunchtime lipo. Quicker and less invasive. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. This morning in our series, The Real Skinny, a less invasive form of liposuction that can be done during your lunch break. I'm looking to get about an inch, I guess, off here. Maria Uribe has had a tough time losing the last few pounds to get to her desired weight. I'm really excited. So, are you all set? So she's spending an extended lunch hour undergoing a shorter lipo procedure. It's called Smart Lipo. A smart lipo differs from traditional liposuction in a variety of ways. First of all, it's performed under local anesthesia. It's a virtually painless procedure. There's very little bruising, a much quicker recovery, and little swelling. Another benefit, a shorter recovery time. I'm make a little incision and I don't think you'll feel anything. Dr. Brooks says the most common areas okay. which patients seek treatment for are the abdomen, love handles, okay. and outer thighs. It feels awesome to be able to interact with the doctor while he's doing this. During her procedure, Maria remains awake, feeling little discomfort. This is better than getting a cavity filled or a root canal. And as for what she has lost from this, it won't be missed. So there's my fat. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. the telltale fat. Uh, Maria Uribe and Dr. Michael Brook are with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. The thing that struck me first from that tape piece was before when we used to see these pictures of light bulbs, there was this huge wand. It looked like some like kitchen utensil or something. This looks much smaller, isn't it? Well, this is actually a very tiny instrument. It's about a millimeter in diameter. Mm -hmm. So it's like a pencil point almost. So it's that small? Very, very small. So the incision is very small. The incision is just tiny. Right. And it's a local anesthetic? Right. That's one of the great things about the procedure. There's no general anesthesia, huh. no sedation, so it's very, very safe and has a very quick recovery. And Maria's a great example of that. All right, first things first, why on earth did you decide to do, I mean, you're this healthy, gorgeous girl. Thank you. That's what so made sweet. you decide to, to do this? Because it was impossible for me to get rid of the fat that I had in front and also on the side. Right. I mean, in order for me to get rid of so it, you're active, I'd have you go to, to the gym, you do all that stuff? Not as much as I should. I'd ah. have to go seven days a week and mm -hmm. 14 hours a week. That you don't have. Exactly. Right. So with my schedule, it's impossible. Right. So, so it was very interesting. We're watching the procedure. And you're wide awake during the procedure, con conversing with Dr. Brooke. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that uncomfortable? No, honestly, my stomach was a breeze. Yeah. I, I really, when I said that it's easier than getting a cavity or root right. canal done, yeah. I really meant it. So we have before and after pictures, mm -hmm. and your feeling from having had this done, and when was it? Tuesday. Just Tuesday. Mm -hmm. It's not even a week. Mm -hmm. So your feeling from having had it done is what? Uh, almost... I mean, I feel so much better. Yeah. It looks so much better. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my and God, that's incredible. It, oh, there's the before. Okay. And here's the... Oh. Yeah. Right. It's a little hard because I'm wearing a garment right now, mm -hmm. but uh, I really notice the difference. Right. My little pouch in the front, gone. <laughs> Adios pouch. <laughs> um, who are best candidates for this? Well, Maria is the perfect candidate. Mm -hmm. She's in good health. Mm -hmm. She's fit. And she just had some localized areas of fat that just didn't respond to diet and yeah, exercise. Right. And as you pointed out, she's a gorgeous young girl, so who could be a better candidate than Maria? Yeah. <laughs> Can I also just say, uh, you're a physician. This is a, we've done all these stories in the past about liposuction and you know people doing it like car mechanics or whatever. But this is this is something. If you're thinking about doing it, what do you need to make sure of? What do you need to? Uh, query your uh, plastic surgeon about Well, that the plastic surgeon is board certified, mm -hmm. and it's really a good idea to make sure that that surgeon has experience in that procedure, because not every surgeon is experienced in all procedures. Right. And this is something at Juva that we do a tremendous amount of. Right, right, right. What, in, in this, what do you help to achieve by this? I mean, it's not, okay, so I've done this, Will will if you can, if you go back to eating cookies at uh -huh. lunch, it's, it's just going to come back again. How do you make sure that doesn't happen? I'm going to try to work harder, work smart at home. If I'm watching TV when I'm watching you in the morning, do some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, try to maintain it. And watch what I eat. Yeah. So it, I can I, so the money doesn't go to waste. There, there you go. And what the, what's what's the rough cost? Well, it depends on the geographic area, but in general, about three thousand right. dollars a site. 
But the important thing to remember is that this will last Maria a lifetime. Hmm. Okay. And you feel like it was worth the money? Oh, absolutely. There you go. Absolutely. Maria, were you rebate? Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Brock. Thank you. Uh, Brock, thank you very, very <laughs> much. For more information, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. We'll be right back.